bombshell after bombshell. If you haven't heard already, General Motors has just announced the axing of the Chevrolet Camaro early next year after a decade of sales slowing. But of course, the main question for all of us is, how will this affect V8 supercars? Well, unlike the complete abolishment of poor old Holden, God bless its soul, I missed you so much. GM announced one day the Camaro will return, but who knows if that will be in a two-door V8 power thing or in, a, in an EV. It's awkward though, because Supercar's Gen 3 move was m meant to bring an increase in road relevance to the category. Take of that as you will, you know. Personally, I think they should be moving towards the entertainment aspect of the, uh, of the sport. Um, but anyway, I guess, I mean, I'm not the category's leader, so I don't... Anyways, Supercar's announced that the Camaro will run until at least 2025, meaning only full, two full years of running the car in the category. Not only will this impact supercars, but NASCAR also, who also run the Camaro within the Xfinity and the top flight of the NASCAR Cup Series. May I add, though, I just want to add that this new goddamn Camaro Garage 56 Le Mans Camaro thing, this thing is a fucking work of art. Just look at this thing. At the moment, though, it seems Supercars is really at the mercy of the mighty corporate GM, as only in 2020 it was announced again that GM completely axed Holden, God rest its soul, and that included the nameplate of the Commodore. But, I mean, reading between the lines of the Supercars response that they brought out yesterday, there isn't much to go off, really. You know, if you live in Australia, I'm sure you can vouch for me as well in saying that you know, the Camaro, you don't see it very often on our roads, at least here in the state that I live. But reading into it a tiny bit, it does seem at least that Supercars, you know, is supporting GM still, and GM is still supporting the factory-backed Camaros in Supercars. So, you know, at least we do have these Camaros till 2025, I guess. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. You know, it will be interesting to see what happens in the coming years, you know, in regards to the manufacturer relevance, manufacturer support that is given to Supercars. Um, but you know, I just, I just hope that the sport that we all love and adore for the most part survives and thrives in these troublesome times. Jeez, that rhymed. I'm a fucking genius.